why are guitarists so obsessed with loud? And how does this all fit into context with bedroom level amplification, as much of an oxymoron as that is, as well as how does all of this fit into context with other sounds that we hear in our everyday lives. So later in the video, I'm gonna be using a looper pedal, my amplifier, and this decibel meter here to run a very crude experiment to sort of see how all this stuff affects the feel, the tone, and the overall volume, and measure that at different places in my house so we can also tackle the idea of bedroom level amplification. So why are guitar players obsessed with loud? Now, I've only had the opportunity to play through a truly loud amplifier a couple times, and it was an incredibly different experience to what I'm used to, which is playing an amplifier at a relatively low volume here at home. Uh, in this example here, I was playing through a, a Tuoc Burnside, which is an insanely loud amp. And just through playing that amplifier, it was moving air. It made the strings feel different. Um, notes compressed differently. Everything under my fingers felt different. I felt more connected to the instrument. And it seemed like <laughs> nothing about the guitar setup or anything like that had changed. It was just the volume and how that weird connection, I don't know if it was a psychological thing or an actual phenomenon, it was explained better in a video I saw by that pedal show, I'll link it in the description below, but there was something about it where that connection was more immediate and everything, I felt more connected in the moment and felt like I was playing better. I was probably just being loud and obnoxious, but it, there was definitely a marked difference. As a matter of fact, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Why do you think that guitarists are always turning up and they're so obsessed with being loud? I guess it's also important to define what a decibel is. Now, I'm gonna keep it very high level, a cursory Google search, um, just enough to sort of lay the groundwork. But I think it'd be more beneficial for me to take the decibel meter to different locations that are pretty common that people would run into in their everyday lives. So you can see what the readings are in those places and gain a better context of what different decibel levels sound like. Decibel is a calculation of a logarithmic function which takes the absolute value of sound pressure, which is millions of potential numbers, and condenses it down into a uh, easier to manage range. Zero to 130 is what's considered the threshold of human hearing to the threshold of human pain. For every 20 decibels of change, you get a change in sound pressure of about 10 times. The experiment will be run like this. I'll set up a loop through a looper pedal into my amplifier and play it under normal volume circumstances. We'll then show you the decibel meter in different spots in the duplex I happen to live in. So you can see the ambient decibel readings without the guitar playing, then with the guitar playing. Then I'll set up that same loop through the same amplifier into the Captor X to use the attenuation in that. Again, we can see the different readings. And then finally, we'll do it with headphones that will be anticlimactic, I know, because obviously the quieter something is, the better bedroom level it's gonna be. So we'll set that up and then we'll run it here. All right, first we're gonna just check out the ambient volume in the room.
bedroom level amplification allows you to take an electric guitar and amplify it a little bit so that you're not bothering roommates or your partner or neighbors for that matter, but still able to get a more satisfying guitar experience at home. Now there's not gonna be one volume or decibel level that's gonna be like the threshold for perfect bedroom level amplification because everyone's situation is different. Maybe their walls are better insulated, their neighbors live farther away, or maybe they have the luxury of living alone and they don't have to worry about bothering anybody and they can turn up as loud as they want. The next clip's gonna be using the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X and it's gonna be using the attenuator here on the back in the middle setting, which I believe is minus 20 dB. Poor wife. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, wife. So the most anticlimactic test is playing through headphones. So I've got these uh, studio headphones plugged into the Captor X into the headphone input. So all the sound is only going through the headphones here. And when I kick on the pedal, you really can't hear anything. This is probably the epitome of bedroom level, where as a player you can play and hear all the glorious sounds. It, the feel's not going to be there. It's not going to be the same thing because you're not moving as much air, um, but hey, um, check out that meter over there. So that was the experiment, and while it was a very crude one, it helped me sort of gain a better understanding and a better grasp of decibels and volume, at least in the context of how I'm playing and through my rig. Hopefully it also allowed you to sort of start setting your own context for how this stuff sort of plays together in, in comparison to things in the normal world. If you found anything in this video interesting or entertaining at all, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching.